Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manus and guys, it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on section of solids. So let's see what the problem is in store. Here we go. It goes like this, a right regular hexagonal prism, edge of the base 30mm and height 75mm is resting on its base on ground such that one of its base edges is parallel to the VP. A cutting plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined to the HP at 45 degrees meets the axis at a distance of 10 mm from its top end. All right. Draw its front view, sectional top view, sectional side view and true shape of the section. So whole lot of things have been given to us. We need to draw all of these things. Now let us extract data from the problem and the object that we're going to deal with right now is a hexagonal prism having base edges in the form of 30 millimeter and at the same time the height or the axis length you can see is 75 resting on its base on ground all right so this is the condition or the location of this now resting on ground means horizontal plane with one edge with one base edge rather parallel to the vp so this is something that should reflect in your drawing when you speak of a hexagonal prism guys just think about this a hexagonal prism in fact is resting with its base on hp now let me ask you a question from where you can see the true shape of the base. So one thing is for sure that the base's true shape can only be seen in the top view and hence you have to begin by making a top view. But so what sort of a top view are you going to make? Is it going to be some kind of a vertical hexagon or is it going to be a horizontal hexagon? It's going to be a horizontal hexagon because in that case one base edge is actually parallel to the VP and that is something which is a condition in fact in the problem. All right. Now let us go ahead and let us write down the details regarding the cutting plane. Now it's, it's an AIP, what you call auxiliary inclined plane, perpendicular to VP, inclined to HP, all right? And it is uh, passing through a point on the axis. That point is 10 mm below the top end, all right? From that point on, it, it is passing through and also making an angle of 45 degrees with the horizontal plane, all right? So let me just uh, right now mark this 45 degrees. Uh, let us write it down cutting plane which is making an angle of 45 degrees with HP. All right. In the next section, I'm going to show you how the object has been really kept with the help of SOLIDWORKS software. Um, we're going to be seeing as to how the cutting action takes place in real time. All right. So let's go ahead and check that. All right, guys. So this in front of you is what you call a hexagonal prism. And uh, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be cutting this hexagonal prism with the help of this cutting plane. And please see. And you can see what actually happens. So let's bring this down. There you go. There you go. Now this cutting plane guys in fact is actually passing through these edges. So we have an edge over here. We have an edge over here. The back side. And there isn't any edge over here in fact. But the top end of, or the top hexagon has been cut somewhere here and here. All of these things should reflect in your drawing. I'll show you how that can be done. Now if you want to have the front view of this particular scenario you can do so by this this cutting plane in fact looks like a line in the front view if you want to look at this from the top it's going to be like this that's the top view guys all right now this blue portion is the section in the top view and this entire top view is referred to as the sectional top view now when you look at this entire scenario from the left hand side you're going to have this this is what you call the sectional side view or to be very precise it's uh, popularly known as the sectional left hand side view now let me get back to the isometric view the 3d view of this and uh, we can now go ahead and start making this on a drawing sheet or on a plain sheet of paper all right so let's go ahead and do that and one more thing that i would like to say is uh, let me let me get back to the front on portion all right if you want to have the true shape of this section this blue colored portion that you can see okay if you want to see the true shape of this section you're going to have to look at this entire scenario from over here exactly in a perpendicular sort of a direction towards with respect to this cutting plane all right and when you do so you're going to have the true shape of this section which in fact would be looking something like this there, there you go this is the true shape of the section all right now let's go ahead in powerpoint i'm going to be explaining you how all this stuff can be carried out so we can now begin by making an XY line. So that's the XY line above which we'll have the front view below which we're going to have the top view. Now, as I've already said that this hexagonal prism, in fact, is resting with its base on horizontal plane. So we have we have to kick off by making the top view. And this is how the top view is going to be made sort of a, a horizontal hexagon. OK, this way, this way, all the edges are 30 millimeters each. All right. Now let's name each and every edge. 
uh, starting from this edge over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 why am i calling this an edge it appears as a point but this in fact is an edge okay the base point of that edge is one all right now we're gonna go ahead now and make the corresponding front view and let's have the projector lines from all these points there you go and now the height of the prism how much is the height it's 75 millimeters so we'll now go ahead and do this so this height this edge that i have drawn just now is uh, having a length of 75 millimeters and you can clearly see that these base points have been marked so this is one dash corresponding to one's top view we have one dash over here in the form of front view two and six you get two at the front and six at the back two dash six dash similarly you can work out at these points let's complete this yeah there you go now we need to worry about this sort of cutting plane now this cutting plane is passing through a point on this axis you can consider this line to be the axis and somewhere along this line at a distance of 10 millimeters down below 10 millimeters down below okay so this distance is 10 millimeters all right uh, we're gonna have an cutting plane something like this at an angle of 45 degrees so let's have the cutting plane guys yeah there you go that's the cutting plane and now let's get rid of this point oh all okay now fine uh, now guys remember the portion of the solid that immediately falls below this cutting plane okay has to be darkened and it would look something like this all right now you can clearly see that the portion of the cutting plane inside the solid has been made with the help of a thin dash dot line whereas the portion of cutting plane outside the solid has been made with the help of a dark or a thick dash dot line all right we'll now go ahead and make the sectional top view but how can that be done okay and for that what we'll be doing is we'll be requiring these so-called points so this edge this edge over here uh, has been intersected by this cutting plane over here so let's say that this point is a and similarly if you work out uh, this particular point okay now there are in fact two points one is for edge two dash and one is for edge six dash so they're gonna, gonna be two points one is gonna be b dash other one is gonna be c dash similarly if you want to work out d dash and e dash now d dash and e dash are cutting exactly at the top of the hexagonal prism if you project a line in the downward direction from this point over here you're gonna get this let me show you um, you will reach here and this point corresponds to D this point corresponds to E that's it and you can have all these points so the top view of A dash is gonna be here okay so when you try to look at this object from the top you will initially see A dash and below A dash you're gonna see this one dash so hence I've written one comma A similarly if you want to see a few more points you can have this uh, b and below b there will be two b and two and below c there is going to be six and c and six that's how you need to mark all these points in the corresponding top view now we'll now go ahead and darken the portion of the top view which can be clearly seen all right something like this okay now cutting plane starts from here and ends somewhere here so this is the portion that needs to be hatched and and after hatching it looks something like this done so the sectional top view guys is over we'll now go ahead and make the sectional left hand side view and for that i'll be doing a small construction in the form of this line okay x1 y1 all right and over here we have this what you call profile plane onto which the sectional left hand side view is going to be made and for that you have to extend lines from all these points towards the right hand side until they meet this vertical line over here now we need to rotate these lines okay by an angle of 45 degrees until they reach this horizontal line now let's again rotate these lines in the vertical direction something like this and now let's have the lines uh, from the front view okay um, from all the points in fact there you go okay the next thing to do is to have the base points now when you try to look at this object from over here from the left hand side to its its extreme left we're gonna have this point six uh, somewhere at the center we're gonna have one and somewhere towards the right towards the extreme right we're gonna have two so six one two six one and two there you go behind six we have five that's why five double dash obviously since it's a side view behind one we have four dash and this is self-explanatory all right now this horizontal line is meant for a dash okay so a dash is side view is gonna be somewhere let's let's 
move in this direction this direction then over here so this is going to be a dash similarly let's say we want to work out d okay so how can d be worked out so this is the line for d over here and here and let's see the d from here that's it that's the intersection point of the front and the top view all right so that's d and similarly the remaining points can be worked out now that we've got all the points let's join all of them with the help of solid lines now when you try to look at this object from over here the outlines that are going to be visible should look something like this please watch this carefully okay this portion from a dash to one is going to be visible from p dash to two will be visible and from c dash to six will be visible all right so something like this and we'll now go ahead and do this upper portion okay so this is sort of a not a five-sided figure that you're gonna see not exactly a pentagon or something and then finally since this represents the sectional side view the section starts from here and ends somewhere here and this is the portion that we've got to hatch there you go that's the hatch and this completes our sectional side view now we're going to go ahead and make the true shape of the section in order to have the true shape we have to look at this object from over here so that we can have the image over here and for that let me bring a plane and this auxiliary plane that i've made right now x2 y2 is absolutely parallel to this cutting plane all right so make sure you do that next thing to do is to project lines from a dash then b dash c dash and d dash e dash in the in a very perpendicular sort of a way all right something like this make sure that the angle subtended is 90 degrees like this all right like this okay now we're now gonna go ahead and draw this so where is point a distance of point a from x y line is this one okay so keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here then please see with the mouse is hovering in the upper direction with this is center and with that much amount that we took right now by keeping the two legs of a compass will put an arc that's my day similarly with this as the center now keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here then with this as the center put an arc and that's point c one leg of your compass here other leg over here that much amount as the radii okay uh, let's move in this direction with this as the center put an arc here again and this is going to be point b let us see once more keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here then move the words then move towards this side and with this is the center you're going to have this as point E. similarly you can have point d now we're going to join all these points with the help of dark solid lines and since this represents the true shape of the section we'll now go ahead and do the hatching that's it guys so this is the true shape of section this is the front view sectional side view and the top view so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you guys believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do subscribe to this channel and also encourage your friends to do so i'll be taking up some more problems based on section of solids in the upcoming videos until then it's a wrap for today this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing